2023 presidency, I am willing to step aside if NNPP gets a better candidate. Kwankwaso, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Presidential candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabi Musa Kwankwaso, has said his party is bringing renewed hopes for Nigerians. Adding that those who are grieved with the current unpalatable situation of Nigeria could change the narrative in 2023 by voting for him as the country's leader. Politics Nigeria reports that the NNPP candidate who made this known in Ninugu State on Tuesday said he is the best man to succeed President Muhammad Buhari in the forthcoming general election. I am willing to step aside if the NNPP gets a better candidate. But for now, I am the best there is, and that is why I am working tirelessly to ensure that we win the elections and give Nigerians a better representation. Kwankwaso said. He added that Nigerians currently have alternatives to the two major political parties, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and All Progressives Congress, APC, which failed to deliver in the area of education, economy, and security. Hmm. Well, well, well. All these online news platform, all these um, online news, uh, all these um, uh, headlines. Hmm. Okay. So, um, the thing is, this particular almost is it should i say the second to the last paragraph where he said i'm willing to step aside if the nnpp gets a better candidate sincerely this has been what a lot of people have been waiting for a whole lot of people have come and they're like you know it is either he's stepping down for atiku abubaka or he's stepping down for bola ametinabu any of the two in fact at a point nnpc I said NNPC, NNPP, they are, NNPP, they are, as in, they are no longer as pronounced. Yes, they are no longer as pronounced. There are some times you barely hear them, you know, there are some times, you know, you hear about them. But nevertheless, anyhow, it is going to come out. <laughs> We're going to find out. Okay. We cannot vote for another Northerner after Buhari eight years of rule. There is one thing that always keeps me on my toes every time it comes to this issue of Northerners. And the thing is, it is the audacity of these Northerners for me. Sincerely. Let's say, for instance, now we have a Southern president. Let's say it was actually good luck, a better Jonathan that has been on that seat all this while. And then... <laughs> Southerners are coming out. Do you know the kind of venom and the kind of fire and brimstone that these Northerners would have threatened? No, it is it is the audacity for me. And the thing is, it's not even about them staying, they want to stay in power. It is that they have actually been holding power for such a long time. But you cannot see, you can't see that people get better as in there is nothing to, as in the people, it is, there is no difference. They would power, you know, no, no change, there's power. Yes, they, they, they are, their states might be a little bit developed, they might have roads and all of that, but the human development is very low. In fact, in, in the, the poorest of the poorest states in Nigeria is found in the north. That is my problem. Had it been that these, these people, when they get to power, they do so credibly well that, you know, Nigeria gets better. It was okay. At least these people are doing fine. But these people, fine, they no do. Okay, fine for other place. Do other regions. No. Okay, do your own region. Make it do okay. Let your people, let development come to them. Bring development right to them. No. So that is my problem with this Northerners. It's not even that. Um, it's not even that uh, 
uh, what should I even call it? That they are coming back. That's the problem. We cannot vote for Northern Northana after Buhari's eight years of rule. It is not a matter of Northerners or Southerners, but how to do, how to deliver Nigeria and build up the new Nigeria. It's the same thing I'm talking about. Okay. It's, if not for your parochial attitude, you would have been the vice president to be, but you only saw that day and failed to see the future. That EMS saw the future and held it. God will use them to change Nigeria and our country will be the best. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Long live Obidati. Long live peace in Nigeria. Hmm. Okay, as even there is no Labour Party, I would have voted for you. You are among the best as well. Hmm. Okay, unfortunately, there is Labour Party. When did Kwakwaso leave the PPP? He is criticizing. You see the hypocrisy of our politicians. Well, the thing about these uh, politicians is they are just like bees. Anywhere they cannot produce honey, they can't stay there. Anywhere their ambitions are not going to be met, you won't see them stay there. Even the ones you see, they cannot leave a particular party. If they have stayed in a particular party for a very long time and it is looking like, you know, they are not producing honey, their ambition, the ambitions are not met, they will, they will just carry their load and go. That's the truth. Now, but sincerely, if you ask me, oh, I have the strong um, feeling that NNPP might finally step down, to be very sincere with you. That was when I saw the caption, I was like, has it happened? Had they telling us something? But I'm not going to be surprised eh? that maybe before... The come February thing that they free before February, or maybe even on February, they can tell us that ah, oh yeah, oh, they are stepping down. You know now this not an us. That's that. Ah, that was what this is the same thing that Mino Tambo did to Mwike and this um recent completed primaries. Okay. This man is very erratic. He reminds me of Sarah Jibril of the People Democratic Party in the past. They are to shop for votes for the highest bidder. Hmm. Okay. This gives me a quick reminder to what Governor Okowa said at the Rice Television debate. Kwan Kwaso and Ubi cannot change anything because they are part of the people that spoil Nigeria. We spoil Nigeria together. Really? Ha. Look at to imagine. Really? Hmm. Well... My two cents to us is, remember to vote wisely. A word is enough for the wise. We don't see shiggy. We cannot not allow or see shiggy promax. And people might not be able to survive it. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We so say thank you for it.